So, you want to make a son, but you don't want to be pregnant. So, you decided to make a moon instead. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make a sun or a moon in Blender. Same, it's the same thing. One of them's obviously going to be yellow, and one of them's going to be like whitish blue, obviously, because that's the color of the sun and the moon. I don't know where you live. The, the moon might be green. Who knows? Okay, right, listen, we're going to start it. All right, cool. The first thing we're going to do is hit, uh, click and drag a box over top of default cube and the lamp. Hit delete uh, right there. And then with our camera selected, we can hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear the location and the rotation. Uh, get rid of those. Uh, and hit R and then X. And on your numpad, hit 9 and 0 to make 90. Hit Enter to confirm that. And hit G, Y to move the camera back behind. There's no grid because it's all grid now, but just move it back behind. Hit 0 to go into the front facing, into the camera view, sorry. Hit Shift-A and we'll search for a circle. There you go. And now, before we click anywhere, before we, do, before we do anything, hit this little add circle button down here, this little uh, pop-up, and then changes from nothing to in gone, which means that we now have something filled inside. And we can also go ahead and change the vertices up to like 30, uh, 64 or something like that, which is doubling it, because 32 times 2 is 64. I mean, obviously, we all learned that in cooking class. All right, nice. So, with that done, I'm going to hit RX and then 90 to rotate the circle 90 degrees on the X axis. Hit 0 to go back into the camera's view. And now we can see we have that nice little sun or shape, sun or moon shape. You can hit S to scale it up or down by moving your mouse and hit it uh, after you hit S. There you go. I'm going to move it. I'm going to scale it down a little bit like that, a little bit smaller. Now, what we're going to do, the cool thing is, is that if we go ahead and, cl uh, and click our camera, we're going we're to do a couple things here. So I'm going to go to the object data tab here and change this from perspective to orthographic. That's number one. So then it gets, it looks like it's bigger, but it's, it's, it's basically, it's the same thing. Just trust me. Um, so with this done now, I'm going to select the circle, hit shift D, duplicate that, right click to cancel the movement we just did, and then hit G Y to move it slightly above the other one. So it's like not on top of it. There you go. So you see it's like slightly above it. There you go. Now with the one that's on top, let's hit S to scale it up just a little tiny bit. Nice. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and go to the mod the material tab. Sorry. Hit this little new button. We'll call this holdout. And we'll, of course, change the surface from principal BSDF to holdout. And then with the one behind it, so the actual sun or moon, we will call this material. We'll hit this little drop down. Select material. And then we'll change this to sun, moon. Yeah, this is like Pokemon now. Wow. Epic. Cool. Now, with that done. We can go ahead and do the most important step, which is render properties, film, transparent. And then we can go to the uh, material viewport shading. And as you can see, oop, now you can, as you can see, we have the ability to not see anything. That's because we have the transparent uh, bit working here. But because we don't have any transparency going on in the scene, we can no longer, we can't see it yet. So we have to go to render view, render to see that. Um, but material mode does, does not show you trans, uh, transparent. So you have to go to rendered viewport shading to see the transparent. There you go. Um, now the cool thing is, well, let's select the actual sun or moon in the back. And let's go ahead and change the base uh, color and surface to emission. First of all, change it to emission. And now with that done, I want to change the color to a slightly yellow color. Slightly, just slightly yellow, like that. And then we'll change the strength to like 10. And now it looks white, but when I go to the main tab here and check on bloom, you can see it looks slightly yellow. Let's We can, we actually, we can make that a little bit more yellow, actually. Something like, uh, something like that. There you go. Now, if we've turned the emission up more, you can see that the center stays white and the rest of it is not. Now, what we're going to do, you probably figured it out now, the one on the front, the holdout circle, we're going to go ahead and hit G to move this. And as you can see, when we do that, it has a cool little eclipse looking thing going on, which is so, so cool. So with that done, let's go ahead and change my start frame to zero. And we'll real quick go to the second tab here and change the frame rate to 60 because it looks better, obviously. Um, and for motion graphics. Um, let's go ahead and change the in-frame to maybe 200-ish. We'll see. I don't know. We might put it back to fit 250. We'll see. Um, and now with the eclipse, I want to go ahead and hit the location keyframe on the big holdout circle, this one. Um, and then on, let's say, I don't know, maybe maybe frame, maybe actually frame 200. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hit frame 200, hit G to move it up like that until it is fully out of the way of the circle. Like that, hit I, location. Now you can see when we play this. It gets out of the way. Super cool. Um, I will change the in frame back to 250 because I don't feel like it's enough time. So we'll change that back and then we'll put this keyframe on 250 like that. Now we can turn my overlays off to see what this looks like. Hit play. 
you can see the, the sun comes up like that which is really really cool and of course like i said if you want the moon just go ahead and do the same exact thing just change the color to a nice bluish color like that very very epic stuff you can even have a crescent moon like that like treasure planet or something you have a full moon oh you know you know got that, that werewolf stuff you know what i'm saying it, it, taylor lautner's coming out of somewhere some sometime you know all right now next thing we're gonna do the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have everything set up to um to render properly as a video so let's go ahead and go to the uh, second tab here what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this file format from png to ffmpeg video and we're gonna scroll on down to encoding and make sure this does not say matroska but it says quicktime and then we're going to change the video codec from H.264 to FFMPEG video codec number one. And now we have the ability to check RGBA. Before we only had RGB, which is red, green, blue. Now we have red, green, blue, alpha. And alpha, of course, is the ability to render in transparency. So now we have that ability. We can now render transparency, which means we are now good to go to render this to any output we, we choose. You can put this in in, in slash uh, tuts by Kai. I, there we go. Tuts by Kai slash um tutorials slash moon slash taylor watner yep uh-huh there you go nice okay so with that being done that is the sun or moon tutorial motion graphic like i said you know you can of course extend this another, another 250 frames so you can go to 500 and then grab the uh grab the circle that is getting rid of everything hit uh grab the first frame so select that hit shift d Duplicate that all the way to frame 500, and now you have a loop, and it'll go back. So you can play this; it'll, it'll, uh, the moon will come up or the sun, whatever, and then it'll go straight back on down, as you can see, just like that. Very cool stuff, and then it'll come back again and do the same exact thing. Very nice. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.